example, um, as the yesterday the, the great thinker and spiritual father of the team is Ricardo uh, Romo, uh, we have the paper written, it's written by one of my PhD students, I am, has made a survey about the state of the art of social media analytics, which is about uh, using uh, the data that comes from uh, social networks and learning uh, outcomes. About 15 years ago, I learned that the, the big surveys uh, of supermarkets uh, started making analysis of uh, via the fidelity programs about the um, customer behavior habits, and they learned uh, one interesting thing about uh, the, the, the my customer type, my current customer type, which is uh, that of small babies who buy diapers, and usually uh, dads who buy diapers uh, don't get to go to the bar to have a beer, so they buy beer to drink at home. Uh, and then, uh, this is a great thing. So uh, these companies uh, could have made me happy by placing the beer just next to the diapers. So I could get in the supermarket, buy the diapers, buy the beer, and go home happy. Uh, what's going on is that if you go to any supermarket, big supermarket, uh, if, if the supermarket has two flats, you will get the diapers in one point of the supermarket and the beer in the other part of the supermarket. And, and each of these two parts as far away as possible of the exit. And this is making me think about technology is not neutral. In the words of Darth Vader, don't get excited about this monstrosity that you have, technology monstrosity that you have built. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if the words are correct because I know the words by heart in Spanish. It's no solo gente o poce que con ese terror tecnológico que ha construido. So, if we are building technology uh, about our behavior, we also learn about how to influence about our behavior. Who's this technology? What master is it serving? And the problem is that it's going to happen because everybody, every one of us, each and every one of us, is seeding this information outside. Big data can take it. All the companies are taking it. One, one case, for instance, is that the companies, that the, the, the publishers right now that are giving books, books digital books to students, uh, they, give the, they, they give it as, as a service to the, uh, to the school, it's software as a service. The first thing that they do when the student gets but as little as the student can be, they ask, what's your name, boy? And if you tell us about you, we will give you some content for free. And in 20 years, we will remember about you. This kind of technology, what master is it serving? Is it serving the student to learn better, to learn, to learn about how is he or she going to orient his career? Or is it helping somebody to know how to shape how the real person has to think. Thinking, uh, thinking about control, you have to choose for control if, it's, if they are in the, it's not in the right hands. If the technology is serving the person, then it's a good thing. But if it's not serving the person, it's not going to be used well. And this is something that scares me. And uh, my current suggestion of what I'm thinking is we need tools to feed the social media with false information with false signals so this system will not learn anything useful about us.